if you're just like a sightseer like I am. Definitely fun to watch. Wow, Captain Marvel coming out in March? I'm okay. so excited for Captain Marvel. She's my, she's probably my favorite Marvel hero. Literally on TNT, they are playing every Marvel movie, and I'm just like, damn, I love this. <laughs> like, wow, <series>, dude. <laughs> that's that's how you get lost in a day. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. We're starting things out. Oh, that was so cute. Uh, Eon did like that wave bounce uh, water gun charge. Oh yeah, <laughs> he did that in the beginning of our set too. I think he's just uh, just, just showing cool. off. Yeah. <laughs> Just speaking of showing off right now, Master, he doesn't care. Oh, and you know, that there is pretty big hitbox. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of myself. people not fans of it. Yeah. Not big fans of him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the switch to Charizard on the recovery. He already got interrupted once on his uh, Vine Whip to back to the stage. And Master Mario is really close. And sometimes the Vine Whip does a weird thing where it prioritizes the person. The, the person first before the ledge. So I like that switch into Charizard just to re uh, safely recover back. Yeah, Vine Whip can be really trippy sometimes. But right now, Eon staying with the Squirtle. This is really dangerous. Third lightest character in the game. All right, we're gonna switch away. Yep. Ivysaur. I mean, I think it. I think it's mostly agreed upon. It's the most solid of the three in the Pokemon Trainer lineup. Still got his weaknesses though here and there. I mean, one of those things is uh, right now for Eon is trying to make it back to the stage. Oh, you. But that no, you can. Whip. That's so. That's so good. There's. There's not a lot you could do about it, but I guess you could jump over it. But it's just really annoying to deal with, and sometimes it'll just kill you. Right. But I have to open them away from there. Nice. Alrighty, back to the Squirtle. I was going to take this first stock. Sticking with the Squirtle, definitely not something you see a lot of people do. Squirtle not known for like that really safe kill power like Ivysaur has. You have to get a hard read with the Smash attacks. They were kind of slow, have startup, and not safe. Yep. But at the same time, Squirtle is a very small, quick, very fast character as well. I mean, you're going to see a lot of... <laughs> like explosive combos especially in the early percents it's, it's that's what squirtle's good for honestly yeah and if you're if you die to squirtle like via edge guard or something like that that just makes squirtle like even better in that matchup for example but seismic toss that should be able to do it yeah. and now we're going to switch to the squirtle for the early percents yep. yeah that's that's what a lot of people do they'll go to for squirtle get that first 50 to 60 percent switch over to ivysaur for like the neutral game the zoning and then the edge guarding right but right now, Master Mario is trying to get a big combo started. Gets interrupted by that dare. Spot dodges through, and he still gets those jabs out in the boxing scenario. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. That pressure right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if your shield does get hit by something, then there's like an additional four frames or something like that uh, of stun where uh, you can't do anything afterwards. So shield drop takes even longer. Oh, so if you have a quick jab or something, then you're able to come out of it really quickly. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, oh, catch him right there. Yeah. Another switch to Charizard just to get the safe recovery The triple out. switch right there. Yeah. That's the idea. Snaring again. I like the way that Eon is immediately switching once he gets <coughs> that. Oh, he just tried to do a simple turnaround grab, but, I mean, those uh, those longer range grabs, sometimes there's some startup, you'll get interrupted like that. Hmm. And he, lo he was waiting out the spot dodge, but he just was waiting a little too long for it. Calling out the Fs. The hair dodging with the F smash. Wow, that was so much. That was really good positioning, too, because he understood that that four smash goes a really long way, so you're able to catch most of the air dodge directions as long as it's not away, but away was already bad enough because it puts you in a bad position. So, But upper also just sending him off the top. Why not? Yeah, Mario's upper kind of does everything now. Yeah, it picks people up. It keeps people up. <laughs> it's an out of shield option now. Yeah, it's, it's a really good option. So this is this is really even, just one stock apiece. Ooh, I like that. Re read the the roll from a mile away, and able to keep up that positioning. Even with the trainer, Eon is uh, kept as even, but Master Mario looks like he wants to get the W here on this first round, getting so many regrabs, so much damage, yeah, 109 percent times. already. Down throw, whip. I think that's gonna be it. Oh no, great DI for Master Mario. Yeah, I think he. I don't know if he like DI downward. I don't know what the Kreak DI is, but on the down throw, it's usually better to not DI because if you DI away, then you're just kind of DIing towards the corner. It's really bad. Right. You should just DI once you get hit by the Vine Whip and try to get as far into the top corner as possible. Okay. And it looked like he did just that. Okay. <laughs> I was a little bit scared if we were gonna see his immediate switch to Flare Blitz. That but was you know so what? Bad. Run up for it tilt. I'll do it. I think that was that sliding F tilt too. That was that was a really good idea. Yeah. So Charizard's a uh, Charizard's tilt. So pretty pretty laggy, but well, once you do those sliding tilts, that's where they get all their utility. Yeah, if you do like the pivot cancel where you get that little 
extra pushback. That's also really nice too. Yeah, Charizard Death Tilt, not something to mess with. Hang on, gonna bring that back. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't see foresee any changes coming in from either party. Unless Eon is suddenly down like two games, maybe, but I feel like he wants to commit to the secondary usage the whole time. There's no point in practicing your secondary if it's if you only use them when you're winning, you know? You have to understand, like, in your losing situations, too, like, how your secondary is doing. And that's that's just so scary to do, because just think, like, oh, if I just win my main, I would have won, yeah. but I want to chain up the secondary. It's, it's a thing that you could really see a lot of people thinking about. <laughs> okay, I like that from Eon. He just drifted away. He's like, nah, I'm not dealing with that fair. I've seen what you've done. Yeah. But that upper covering all of the platform of PS2. I like how uh, Master Mario is dealing with these these uh, razor leaves. Yeah, there we go. I had a brain fart there. <laughs> He's either spot dodging them or reflecting them. It's a lot of a lot of characters. It's like it's really how it it describes how the matchup goes. If you can deal with razor leaf, you genuinely have a good matchup against Ivysaur. If you can't, it's it's so hard for you and run off down. <laughs> Yep, that hitbox is big. What, what hard to avoid. Yeah, what else do, what do I say about that? I mean, isn't there a, like a Twitter video or something of like the dare hitting through the, the floor of Pokemon Stadium on, on a fox recovering? It's the saddest thing ever. I saw one of a, an Ivysaur doing it to a Peach on Smashville, like through the middle stage oh, damn. of her floating through it. <laughs> oh, that moves crazy. That's hilarious, yeah. You know, once you see that hitbox of it, it just really makes you think, why don't other characters have this? Yeah. Imagine when he evolved into Venusaur, it was just cover the whole, like, <laughs> half of the stage. Yeah, exactly. That was like, okay, we'll keep him at Ivysaur, guys. Yeah, that, was, right. that was their play. Yeah, I guess another re-grab into a Razor Leaf up Ra there. Yeah, that's that's the utility of the Razor Leaf. It just does so much zoning, and then once you get at that high percent, if you hit it close enough, you're going to be able to get an up air out of it or a Vine Whip. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, he messed up the uh, the drop from ledge vine whip, but Master Mario not going to get a punish on it. Back throw. I don't think he'll be able to do it yet. No, especially on a heavy character like Charizard. Oh my God! I I really like it. I really it. like it. I thought <laughs> I thought he was going to definitely get him on that sock too. That was a really good idea. Yep. Probably didn't need to fast follow it as much. Yeah, you saw Master Mario. He just mashed up B out of there. He was like panicking, and if he if he got hit by that, it would have been over. I would be too. Yep. Yeah, Razor okay. Leaf into up air, trying to get the Vine Whip afterwards. That's such a feels bad combo to get hit by. Yeah. It's like, let me get hit by one of the three strongest moves in the game, you know? <laughs> Shield the, the Razor Leaf. Down air, not going to take it just yet. Yeah. The down air is usually good at around this percent killing the super light characters, like Squirtle will be one of them. Ivysaur, you know, he's mid-weight, so it's uh, not as dangerous. Not going to gonna kill him unless you get that hard read at the top of the, the top of the blast zone. Yeah. Like there. He's, he's like what Master Mario likes to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Classic land on your shield spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Based out the shield grab, able to bring this back around. 109% though. And, and this is Ivysaur oh. we're talking about. We got, oh my god, he just went for it all right there. And now Master's going to need to turn up if he wants to take this stock back. Yeah. Fair. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. He, he, Eon was drifting already back in towards the stage instead of trying to DI away on that combo just to make sure he survives the combo. Doesn't get hit by fair or some kind of uh, random 50-50 or anything. Not trying to get Twitter comboed. Yeah, exactly. Master Mario can do that a lot, especially even on top player. So. <laughs> yeah, that's just... He's just so in sync with Mario. Taking all that shield damage. Yeah, kind of hard to parry those when the, when the shield is so small. We'll have to see. Oh, my God. Catches him with the fair. How does he make it back to the stage? Oh, what an up B, the armor. My God. That was... that that That's that's literally wake up DP. That was absolutely <laughs> the, the wake up DP. Yeah. It's not invincible, but it had armor, and that was enough. To, like, to I saw the up smash it. hit. I was like, wait, why didn't he win? <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I like saw it hit, and I'm like, "Oh, that's Eon." Wait, why is he flying? Why is he flying up? And so I'm like, going oh, up. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> yep. So that's it. I'm watching the. That's so cool too. Like in between the matches, you can watch the Frozen Two trailer happen. I don't know why there's a Frozen Two coming out, but anyways, here yeah. we go. Last. I mean, everyone loved the first one. Yeah. Uh, potentially last game for Master Mario in the winner size of things, but we'll see if Eon, uh, you know, cuts him some slack. <laughs> Maybe he tries to experiment some some things, or if Master Mario turns up the gears and uh, really brings it back around, like he try is trying to do right now, gonna get that up throw. 
Blast. Nothing else though. Guess he got bear afterwards. But still calling out. What was that? Ah, that was weird. Okay. Anyway, yeah, Eon is not gonna let him do that. Eon not one to really cut slack. You know his opinions on SoCal or anything. If you looked at his Twitter, he's out here. He's trying to win. And there we go. Getting that down throw. Just a fair, but getting a re-grab. This is where Squirtle's so good. He gets these re-grabs. He gets these conversions. That fair, man. That there's not quite gonna be able to do it yet. Switching back to Squirtle. Oh, just waits out the withdraw on the end lag of it. The decide to punish it instead. Also getting the double snap on the fireball, but Eon staying, uh, staying calm. He's like, you know what? I know I can make this back. Okay. But back air, gonna take it. Yeah, literally, I was about to be like, you know what? If you, if Master Mario even just sneezes on him, it's literally over for Squirtle. I, I would suggest switching, but you know he's gonna lose his stock for it. He's gonna start out the next stock with Ivysaur. But he's already getting comboed again. Master Mario really turning up the heat so far. Yeah, I like Master Mario not really DIing on that down throw. You saw him just go straight up. And that's where it's really hard for Ivysaur to get that hit that he needs of the Vine Whip. Yeah. Interesting change there. Uh, he did uh, able to get get away from that first up air, but there's a, it's the, only the first 25 frames where he's invincible, and then you're kind of vulnerable after that. So Mario could easily do like another up air or something afterwards, continue combo in the air. Getting caught with the Squirtle again, dying so early on about 100%. Master Mario with the three stock lead, he's not gonna go for it again. Or whoa. <laughs> he went down runoff there. I thought he was gonna just go run off air again, but maybe he didn't think he was in the right positioning. Honestly, the what he, what I was expecting him to do was do the fair, get on stage, wait for him to switch Pokemon, because he knew he was going to, and then run off air. Right. But, you know, Master probably not confident he could hit that. Uh-huh. And he still has such a big lead. Is he gonna catch all three stocks in the squirtle? We'll have to see. Yep, they were, wow, <laughs> flew so fast. Yeah. Even with the balloon knockback, even uh, even without it, it probably would have been very far. But here we go, Master Mario putting himself a point on the board. Like I just said, uh, put, turned up the heat and uh, brought it back around. Let's see what the next stage is going to be for our players here. I'm curious where Eon uh, plans to take Master. Maybe just run it back to PS2. Oh, okay, we're going to go to Town and City. I like the idea. Mm-hmm. Yep, no changes either. Yep. I mean, why would he? He's yeah. already—he's still up two games. Yeah, he got—he already got the 2-0 lead. Yeah. So I'd like to see Eon uh, stop trying to stay in Squirtle so much at these higher percents. I understand he was getting caught, but that is—he died so much earlier. Oh than he no, had no, to. no, 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 no! Oh no! Okay. Ooh. Thank God for Town and City. Thank, now, yeah. now, now the highest ceiling in the game. So honestly, I was. That was almost exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. I mean, he got it on the middle platform, too. That's why I was really scared. Mm -hmm. But uh, still not quite enough, even on the light character like Squirtle. Going to go for a down throw back air. Go back to Ivysaur, trying to bring things back around. Master Mario with a pretty significant lead here. I and mean, that's the thing about this character, or about Master Mario. I was about to say about this character. Like, <laughs> Master Mario is Mario. <laughs> is that if you give him some momentum, he suddenly brings it back around. And all of a sudden, you're in a game five scenario, and here he's about to bring it back. Definitely, Mass Mario not want to sleep on. He's he's known for making those wild comebacks. You think he's out of it, and he's like, no, no, I I was always in it. Right. Catching the neutral get up back. Wow. probably gonna take it. Okay, yeah. That, the yeah, no mix up, mix up. It looked like his standing animation like shifted back towards even closer to the ledge, so then he was able to get that grab. That was a great. Yeah, that's what happens when you put your back to the ledge and you neutral get up, since you can't go through people's shields and everything. It just kind of pushes you back, so you only have to stand at like a certain distance. Back throw. I mean, you can fit. You can make the ceilings <laughs> bigger, but the side blast zones is <laughs> still the same. Even and he was he was start, starting to move back too uh, hey. with the platforms going away. Now we got the FD variant again. Yeah, we got that. He got taxi platform. That was so funny. Yeah. Yeah, bring himself back in there, but 90% to unanswered. All right, just rolls out of the way. Gets that forward tilt. Bit of a risky option. There's usually a lot of end lag on that, but yeah, four tool. It's pretty good, but it has less reach than you would expect, and more end lag than you would expect. Yeah. Oh, clinks with his own razor leaf reflected, and we got the jabs come out. Ooh! Oh, a little bit too much pushback. We're getting the fair. 
But not, not gonna get anything else off of it. Mm -hmm. Right now, it looks like Eon is doing a good job of bringing it back. Being a little bit more careful, not getting susceptible to Master Mario's combos, but we got another back throw going in here. Eon not really trying to commit too much. Every time Master Mario is hitting his sheet, I killed. Yeah, every, every time Master Mario is hitting his shield, Eon's just waiting for the mix up he's respecting now instead of trying to do anything else out of it. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. Okay. Ooh, getting Still hit. gonna get hit. Yeah, getting up smashed. Squirrel, not gonna live that. Ivysaur. Ivysaur probably would have lived, but, you know, he wasn't Ivysaur. Yeah. Yeah, Master Mario does that a lot. That fall down a uh, fireball into the grab. It's so hard to do with the pressure. You have to preemptively jump out of it to get out of there, but even then, Master could hit you with the mix of throwing out an up air or something. Right. He's still trying to stick it with the Squirtle here, slowly racking up the percents again. I think now, when he starts to realize that he is going to die to when he literally gets sneezed on, then he's <laughs> going to switch to Ivysaur, probably. I think Eon's looking for that one bit of stage control to switch. Like there. This is... Eon is still definitely in this. He does have the down throw into the up B. If right, he hits this, this will be his. Oh, unfortunately not going to get the sweet spot. Yeah. When he, when your opponent doesn't fly anywhere after Vine Whip, I'm just kind of like, whoa, what happened? But then, yeah, and if you free, don't forget, there is a tipper on that. Oh, wow. Really went for the dare there to try and close it off on the Charizard. I feel like a seismic toss on one of those side platforms might be able to do it. And you can see Master Mario is a little bit aware of that, just trying to stay away with those fireballs. I'd like to see Eon maybe start trying to throw out these up smashes out of shield. Yeah, that's going to kill. Okay. He's up so much out of shield when Master Mario is doing like, that full hop fireball. Like, run in between it and then do that up smash because it'll usually clank. The first hit will clank with the fireball and the second it will likely hit Master Mario. Right. Because when he's, when he's staying Charizard, he's really only going for like the grabs, the back airs, and the F tilts. He's not really trying to utilize Charizard as a whole, although that is difficult to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, switching over to Fox. Alrighty, last, that's what I'm talking about. Last game scenario, switches back to Fox. <laughs> yeah, Master Mario on the cusp of reverse 3 of owing Eon to make it into winner's finals. But, that's a, that's a clean Fox jacket. I like the, the strawberry kind of color on it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> for all, dates all the way back to Melee, man. I don't know, actually, I, it might even date back to uh, 64, and I think about it. I think there was the green, or the red variant on that. Yeah, uh, there was. Fox costume, yeah. Yeah, I think this is the first time Eon has actually gone Fox, so... You know, finally respecting Master Mario enough. I'm well, not respecting, but just saying, you know what, I need my full main to, to beat this this player now. Yeah. Let's we'll see how this goes, though. I mean, he is still kind of getting rocked a bit uh, on those early percent combos, but it's a matter of being able to find the stock, because Fox can still explode on you, and you blink it before you know it. You are at 92. <laughs> just like Up. that. Oh, before you know it, you're also dead. <laughs> That's the beauty of Battlefield. It works so good for both of these parties. It's just who gets that up here first. Oh, I like the parry trying to get a dare out of shield to really start up your combos. Mm -hmm. Alright, another dare uh, sets here up we go. another combo. I guess we're playing Smash 4. I, I think someone's got to check the console and make sure we're playing the right game. Alright, it, it is looking the same. Yeah. Who said Fox is bad? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, Fox doesn't have it anymore. They're yeah, it's like, Fox is not good anymore, guys. It's like, oh, okay. All the space animals yeah, are dumb. Sure. That's it. <laughs> All right. Let's see how Eon makes it back. Yep, probably not going to try to use that up B anytime soon. I'm surprised how well uh, Eon is warmed up, looks warmed up with his Fox despite not playing him at all today. Great tech as well. Going to be able to make it back. Doesn't get hit. Oh, but just baits that out, the down smash, and gets the l soft nair. Not able to fully commit into an up smash, though. Didn't really get a... Ch I think he tried to put a charge on it, too. Right. All right, now, Eon almost up to full stocks. Master Mario really does just need that one hit, that breath of fresh air just to take that stock off of Eon and trying to grab him, maybe getting a little too impatient, trying to think, I need to close this out. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that was a bait, the, just the well-spaced back air. Trying to get, pick out an option. Oh, he's trying to break his shield. Yeah, the Master Mario's just going to let himself get hit by that. Wow. He's so good at baiting out the defensive options. And Oh, okay. Oh, well, Mario was dead. I think Eon realized that uh, Master was dead a little too late before he could change up the angle on his fi Firefox. Yeah. 
I mean, the the camera really clo closed in on them. Wow, hunted him down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not letting you leave. Yeah, went a little bit off stage for that too. Eon finishing off with a JV3, looking real nice there, even without playing the Fox the whole day. Mm -hmm. so yeah, Eon yeah, gonna take that 3-2. Tried to close it out 3-0, but fortunately it was not gonna work. Oh wait, are they closing the bar or the concession stand? Yeah, or they said it was gonna close in 30 minutes. Uh, to be fair, I thought this was gonna close out sooner, and then.